Hello, welcome back. My name is Richard D. Beck, and you're watching Gun Survival and News Channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to clean your Smith & Wesson shield. Let's get started. The very first thing you're going to want to do when you clean your gun is to make sure that it's unloaded. If this is your daily uh, concealed carry, your everyday concealed carry gun, it's probably going to be loaded. So let's start by unloading it. Then I recommend you take your ammo and, uh, and your magazines and you go put them somewhere else. Okay, now that I've uh, put my, my ammo, my magazines, and any live ammunition out of reach, that's good. Because at some point, when I put this thing all back together, I'm going to you know, rack it, I'm going to pull the trigger, just to make sure it works. So, I'm going to go ahead and check, lock it open. I'm going to look to make sure that the chamber is empty. Um, it's empty. I'm not looking for brass, but i got a whole other video where I talk about why you should look for an empty chamber and not brass. Um, so... Chamber's empty, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the gun. If you're not sure how to break down your gun, go ahead and click right there. That's a video where I completely go into detail on how to break your gun down. Now that you've already watched that video, let's get into how to clean your gun. So, I go ahead and I take it apart, and um, I'm gonna start by taking off the barrel. This is the basic breakdown and cleaning. All you need to do is remove your spring, remove the barrel after you've taken the slide off, and uh, that's, that's all I'm gonna clean on average. I don't base my cleanings on how many shots. I base my cleaning on how long I've been carrying it because you know if I carry this thing, even though it's in a holster, it's inside my jeans, um, you get lint, you get dust, you get dirt and grime. You get that kind of stuff in your gun even if you're not shooting it. So don't think that just because you haven't gone to the range that you don't need to clean your gun. If this is your everyday carry gun, you need to be cleaning it, you know, you know, everybody's different. It depends what kind of environment. If you're in the desert where there's lots of like uh, really fine sand, depending where you work, um, depending on the places you go, just every now and again you should take the slide off and give it a look, you know. How does it look? Is it, do you have a bunch of lint and dust in here? If you do, it's time to clean it. So, I'm gonna cover cleaning the barrel first. All right, I like to go ahead and put down some plastic on the table just to keep my wife happy. And everybody knows, a happy wife makes a happy life. So, don't forget that. Now, I use um, solvent here. It's um, hops number nine. And basically this will break down any deposits that are in your gun. And um, that's what I start with anyways. Also you're going to need a brush. Um, a little brush like this works really well. It's a brass um, or copper brush. Um, now you can buy a 38 caliber brush, a 9 millimeter brush. They're exactly the same size. Just go ahead and attach the brush here then I'm going to go ahead I'm gonna pour just a little bit of this into the lid because I don't want to dip my brush into the container otherwise I've you know I get dirt and everything inside there and I want to keep this stuff clean so I just kind of dip it in there then I take my barrel and I slide it in you basically go in and out just a little bit. Get that solvent in there to clean any gunk out that you might have in your barrel. Okay. So, I mean, my gun's pretty clean, honestly. Um, I hadn't actually shot it. I've just been carrying it for a while. If this is just a, a cleaning to get the, uh, the lint and dust out, you don't have to run your wire brush through here. Um, 
But if you've just shot the gun a lot at the range, go ahead and use the brush for the bore. Otherwise, if this is just your standard, you know, monthly cleaning to get the dirt, the sand, and the lint out, go ahead and skip the step where you uh, clean the inside of the barrel. I'm going to grab this little brush. This came with my, uh, my kit. Um, you can use a toothbrush. This is basically a toothbrush. And uh, I'm going to dip into my solvent. And uh, I'm just going to clean my spring out a little bit. Really, this is just for me because I don't like dirty guns. But and then uh, I'm going to get a little bit of solvent on my brush and uh, dip it so it runs down in. Right, um, right here, you can see uh, my uh, striker stop right there, the little button. Um, is what I do is I get a little bit of solvent on my brush and I kind of dip it in there and let that solvent run in um, down into the crevices and the cracks and get into the firing pin area. And then I also I will take my brush and uh, I will hit right uh, on the back where the the bullet where the shell casing rides right there. So I'm going to clean that out. And every, if you do a lot, a lot of shooting, um, you can take your firing pin out. But honestly, um, I'm going to show you, if for the most part, you don't need to do that on a, on a standard cleaning. This is just a standard cleaning. Something that you do while you're carrying your gun to keep it from getting dirty. Okay, so now we've solvent. We got, you know, put solvent on all of our parts here. Um, we put solvent inside. I'm going to grab, put a little solvent right in here. On the sear, I want to like drip a little bit of solvent down in there. Basically, the solvent will cut through any oils on the gun. I want to remove all the oil because the oil, because it's been in my pocket for a while, that oil has picked up dust and dirt, and I want to get the oil off so that way I can get the dirt off. Then, once I get the gun really clean, I'll put a little bit of oil back on. But now, I'm basically degreasing the gun. I'm putting the solvent. The solvent actually has like a film itself. And now I need to remove that solvent because I got the solvent on everything. I don't want to just leave the solvent on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this tub, this little container here, with dish soap and hot water. Um, I like Dawn. That's just because it's what we have. Um, but this, what that's going to do, that is going to cut through all the grease, all the solvent, everything I just put on here. I want to completely strip the gun of all greases and solvents altogether. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, you can see I got that nice and soapy. Let me go grab my gun parts. All right, I can tell you that Dawn dish soap works amazing. Um, I've been a machinist engineer now for, I don't know, uh, going on seven to 10 years. And uh, I've used dish soap to clean greasy parts so many times. It works amazing, especially Dawn. Stuff cuts through some serious grease. So um, you can see I took my uh, my recoil spring and I just you know I really swish it around there a lot because it's because I can't rub all the surface area. But if I can get the water to rush through the soapy water really good, that'll be great. Then I'll just rinse it off because I don't want soap residue. And dish soap rinses free of parts really well. Stick the barrel in there. Get it nice and free of grease, oils, solvent. I take the slide. And it especially, I really want to work um, the water through because the water is going to slosh around inside the firing pin mechanism and it's going to clear out any dirt um, that might be in there. I already put the solvent in, so that will break down the hardcore heavy duty stuff. And then this Dawn dish soap, it breaks down and removes the solvent. And then when you rinse it, you give it a nice good rinse. Any fine dirt that's in there is going to wash out. 
and it's going to flow. You don't have to use a uh, container like this, but I have a special container. Um, that way I don't get like gun residue in the sink because remember what I said at the beginning? Happy wife, happy life. Uh, that's the reason I don't just do this in the sink and I use a plastic container. Um, she doesn't like the idea of gun solvents being in the sink, <laughs> which I understand. So I respect that. All right, so this is nice and clean. And the great thing about hot water is um, if you use really hot water where you almost can't touch it, um, it heats up the metal parts and they evaporate pretty quickly. I'm gonna take these out to the garage and I'm gonna blow them out with an air compressor and that's gonna blow out every last bit of water and it's gonna take any dirt with it. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish. I put the whole frame, don't worry, these things are made to get wet. It's not gonna you know, be the end of the world. Put that thing in there, submerge it, and shake it a lot. I mean, you really want the, the water to, you know, to be moving in and out of every nook and cranny, every crevice. Um, and you're using that hydraulic pressure from the water to clean out the dirt. The solvent's already been in there to break down the oils. Now you're using the soap water to break down, further break down oils and the solvent. All right. Okay. So, and you can go grab your toothbrush as well and you can scrub in there. That would be great too. I don't really need that very much because I don't need a, my gun's not very dirty. I just have lint in it and I just want to clean that out and dust. Okay, so time to hit the garage and uh, get the air compressor and uh, blow these puppies out. Now I gotta re-rinse them. All right, blow them out. All right, we're out here in the garage. This is what I've got here. I've got uh, your standard um, uh, air compressor hose and a little blow gun here. You're not gonna blow any parts out of the gun. So go ahead and... I just ran out of air. I'm gonna have to turn my air compressor back on. But you get the idea. Um, I'm blowing down into here. Um, that's gonna eject, you know, water, dirt, dust, anything. Then I'm gonna flip it over. If there's a crack, a crevice, or a seam anywhere in any of these parts, blow air into it, the water will come out. And when the water gets, when the water comes out at, at high speed, it takes dirt with it. And since you just put um, soap water in here, all of these parts are super duper clean. They are oil free, dirt free, dust free, they're clean. All right, they're gunpowder free. Now you just need to get them water free with your air compressor, which really doesn't take much at all. Just a little bit of air pressure and uh, you're good to go. All right, let's head back inside. I'll show you where to oil this thing. Um, that way you can get back to shooting. Okay, so. Now that we finished that, there's one other thing you can do. If you have a little cotton brush like this, you can pop that on there just to, you know, anything that might have been left over in the barrel. Once I shove it through, I just kind of, in case there was anything in there, I brush it off and I pull it back through. And I do this at the very end. And then when I look through the barrel, um, there won't be anything in there. It'll look all nice, beautiful, and clean. All right, so where to oil? Well, let's go ahead and put the barrel back in. So we drop that in there. Put the spring back in. And I am not going to put any oil on the slide. Do not put oil down into the firing pin area because that's going to cause it to collect dust. The most important thing when you oil this thing is do not over lubricate your gun. Over lubrication is going to cause dirt, dust, um, lint, everything to stick to your gun in places you don't want it to stick. So 
just a little bit of oil is what we're going for here. We don't want to drench the gun. So the oil I'm using is Hops number nine lubricating oil. It is high fold viscosity and penetration. So that's gonna mean it's basically it's gonna work its way down into every single crack there is. So um, you'll see on your gun, you've got these slides here and here. And so you can see how they're a little bit worn. The paint's worn, or the coating's worn off. That's because it's a friction point. And then up here, you also see you have right here and right here, you also have some ears. And those are also friction points. And that's where we're going to oil. Okay? We're going to put a little drop of oil right there. One drop. One drop. One drop. One drop. So then I'm just going to kind of rub it around and most of it's staying on my finger, which is the point. I kind of want to rub off some of the oil. I don't want a ton of oil on there. So that's it. And uh, so now that your finger is really oily, you can kind of touch and rub this little guy right here sticking up. Your finger is oily. Go ahead and uh, rub that right there. And since your finger is still a little oily, you can, um, I don't know, I would really just, just rub that just a tiny bit. And um, that's it. Do not over oil. And, you know, you can rub right here um, where the barrel pivots. Since your finger is oily, go ahead and give that just a little bit of lube on there. Right in between. Don't be squirting oil, just use what's already on your finger and rub it onto there. All right, that's that. I gotta get this oil off my finger. Go ahead, reassemble your gun. Check, make sure it works. It does. Also, once you've uh, pulled the trigger and you've heard it strike, go ahead and work your trigger. It should feel nice and smooth. If you have dirt in there, of course, it'll feel gritty and you'll hear it feel smooth as butter. All right, that is how you clean your Smith & Wesson M&P shield. This works for the 9mm 45. Once again, I'm Richard D. Beck. You're watching Gun Survival and News. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see more videos about the Smith & Wesson M&P shield, shooting videos. We're going to be doing some shooting at the range. I'm going to try to capture that on video. I've got some um, ammo reviews coming up. I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to shoot uh, some different ammo that I have here and I'll give you my opinion on it and um, maybe that'll, you know, help help you decide if you're, you know, trying to figure stuff out. If you're new to the gun world, um, you can ask me any questions and I will do my best to um, give you an educated answer. All right. Once again, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video, and I'll see you next time.